A premium car manufacturer like BMW has been making cars for over 100 years. However, when it comes to the compact class, sometimes classified as the C segment, premium manufacturers are actually relatively new to it. Yet, the idea behind it is actually pretty simple, right? To make cars that are positioned a little bit more affordably to bring in new customers to the brand. Well, some people might think that that's a little bit contradictory for a premium brand with, you know, over 100 years of heritage. But I do think that at the same time, it's kind of wrong if you don't really want to tap into this big group of potential customers as well. So, can you get premium performance in a compact car? You think so, because you voted on it. And that's why today, we are inside SG Car Mart's premium compact sedan of the year, the BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe. And we're going to take a look as to why it won. First and foremost, the 2GC actually falls within a segment in which there aren't actually that many choices. So in this premium compact sedan segment at roughly the 200k price point at today's COE, there are only really a handful of choices. So this is the sort of car for someone who wants the practicality and functionality of a four-door sedan, but also wants something that is a little bit more distinctive, especially visually. Speaking of visually distinctive, the 2GC is a good-looking car, one that I think looks a lot better in person than in photos. So with its tapered roofline, wide shoulders, and squared off rear, it's a car that cuts a very distinctive impression on the road. You're definitely not going to be mistaken for any other BMW, that's for sure. Here in this cabin, the first thing that really stands out is the high levels of equipment. So in this car, you actually get a lot of the same features that you would find in some of BMW's more expensive models. So things like the digital dashboard, we also have the iDrive infotainment system that runs operating system 7. So what you get is things like navigation, you've got the weather, you've got um, intelligent personal assistant, and you also have BMW's suite of connected services. I think the feature that most people will appreciate is actually the wireless phone connectivity. So you can connect both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly. And this gives you access to things like your music on Spotify. You can choose your favorite navigation system, whether it's maybe Waze or Google Maps. And the system can also actually do things like read out your WhatsApp messages. So that's very useful for when you're driving, right? And yeah, in, in our premium compact sedan of the year, you don't want to miss out on features like these. What I particularly like about this cabin is that it still remains a very functional one to use. So it's good that you still have some physical controls for key features such as your aircon control, so you can easily adjust them even while you're driving. And um, as far as materials and build quality goes, you're not going to have any complaints here. We have nice materials, it's a well-built car, and you know, it's exactly like what you expect a premium car to be. Where BMWs tend to set themselves apart is in the way they drive, and this car here is no different. So we have a 1.5-litre engine that makes a pretty healthy 138 horsepower and 220 Nm of torque, and it's quite a lively engine that's willing to build up revs when you need it. And there's also a sense of connectedness about the way this car drives, so that really inspires confidence when you're going through a few corners. And this then encourages you to actually drive with a little bit more verve. Make no mistake, this still very much feels like a BMW here behind the wheel. So even though this is a compact segment model, you don't feel like there's been any real compromise in terms of the dynamic performance and handling that the German brand is known for. And because the car weighs just 1.4 tons, it actually honestly feels a little bit quicker than its on-paper figures may suggest. And I like that about this car, it really feels quite light on its feet. So couple that dynamic capability with the fact that you have a well-insulated cabin, you have ample features, and even, you know, small nice touches, such as, you know, things like the ambient lighting. And it's easy to see why this car is our premium compact sedan of the year. Yes, I know that everyone's a little bit SUV crazy nowadays. However, there is still a segment of buyers that want a four-door sedan, something like this. 
And beyond its generous equipment and functionality, this is a car that really embraces its bold nature. It's a car that's not looking to simply just fit in, it wants to stand out. And it is really this boldness that makes it our premium compact sedan of the year.